Welcome to the second tutorial on using the positive flying method in Falcon BMS. Today we're going to discuss level turns. Given that we're in the context of positive flying, we'll need to remember the core principle, that being that airspeed equals attitude plus power. Now when we're in a level turn, we want to keep two things constant. We want to keep the attitude relative to the horizon, and we want our airspeed. However, as turning increases our drag, we will need to vary the one variable we have in order to do so, and that is our power. So, to perform the turn, we're going to use the following procedure. First, look at the current power setting. Uh, visually looking down at the throttle position works quite well. Then, bank to the desired bank angle, and finally, pull back to maintain level flight and increase the throttle to maintain airspeed. When you're done with a turn, level your wings and return your power setting back to what it was before the turn. So let's have a look. First we'll do a 30 degree turn. So we'll bank, put more power, and then when we're done turning, we simply level off, pull the power back to where it was, and you should be fine. It's a very, very simple procedure. Now there's three standard turns that you really need to practice and master for effective multiplayer flight. The first is the 30 degree turn, the next is the 60 degree turn, and finally there's the energy sustained turn. And this last turn is very useful in tactical formations. So in order to do the 30 degree turn, we do just like we did. We simply use 30 degrees of bank, and if you look at the attitude indicator, that line there is your 30 degrees of bank. For the 60 degree turn, you'll bank to this line over here, and then for the energy sustain turn, that we'll cover in a minute. So let's start with the 60 degree turn, as we've already done the 30 degree turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bank to 60 degrees, increase my throttle, and just keep the nose level with the horizon. When I'm finished turning, I'm going to level out, pull the throttle back to the position it was at, and there we go. Nice little 60 degree turn. Now the energy sustain turn is there in order to be able to turn in tactical formations when you're doing specific speeds and your wingman, for example, might be a mile out to your left or your right. The way that you do that is you increase the throttle to full power, or full military power, you don't want to use the afterburner, and then what you're going to do is you're going to bank and pull back on the stick to maintain your airspeed. So let's try that now. So I'm going to set the throttle to full military power, bank, and maintain my airspeed. And so I'm sustaining my effective energy that I get from my 350 knots. Uh, cruise. Now as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to level out and I'm going to pull the power back to what it was. And there we go, the energy sustain turn done. So that concludes the rather short lesson on basic turns. I hope it was useful and until next time, happy flying.